Hello everyone, I'm River Fox. Welcome back to the Save the World Home Base Status Report. Yes, it has been quite some time since I have done one of these, but seeing as I've started back on Save the World now with a brand new Fortnite account, then I thought I'd best come on and just go through quickly the new home base report and show you what sort of things are going to be coming in the next two weeks. So if you haven't checked out any of my live streams where I do stream my brand new account, then do check them out on this channel. There will also be a load of links in the description as well. But I'm going to get rid of the webcam now and let's delve straight into the home base status report. Okay, so starting off, it says, Hello Commanders, Homebase is back to share what's coming this week and next to Fortnite Save the World. The Scurvy Shoals Venture Season ends soon. Now's the time to wrap up any unfinished blockbuster, Yar and Battle Royale quests. These quest lines, event heroes, Robo Ray and dungeons will rotate out on June 19th, 2021. Don't fret commanders, dungeons will return in the future and rumour has it it may be cooking up another wing. We'll tackle that when the time comes. Home base status report initiate. So first things first, if you haven't done any of the blockbuster or YAR or any of those quest lines, do try and get those done as quickly as you can because you will get some pretty decent things from those and there'd be things that you won't be able to get for quite some time so definitely recommend you try and get those done they're really easy and simple to complete you can do them while you're playing your normal missions so they're really easy but they will be going away on june 19th as will be dungeons and if you haven't already if you're stuck on the what's in the box quest then do check out my dungeons video you'll be able to find a mimic in the dungeons really really easy you can complete dungeons pretty you know pretty simply it's nice gameplay and you're going to get a load of rewards and gold in the process so make sure you do get those done now coming on may 29th at 8 p.m eastern time bring the fog of the sea with free booter ken now free booter ken has a standard perk of sea fog which smoke bomb restores your shields to full and sea fog plus smoke bomb restores your shields to full and freezes your enemies for 5.5 seconds after activation now it is a really good perk but it's going to be one of those that is really situational to the loadout that you will use. So it may not fit in with your playstyle. It may not be one that you will use very often. So I would probably hold off on Freebooter Ken until you have got the other characters coming out over the next two weeks. And if you've got enough gold left at the end, then I would sort out and get Freebooter Ken. He's not going to be an essential hero to get here we have diecast jonesy and chromium ramirez return now diecast jonesy is an absolute must if you are anyone like me that absolutely loves your going commando ability then diecast jonesy is going to be a must for that loadout and a standard perk boomstick increases going commando damage by 25 percent but Boomstick Plus increases damage by 50% and changes damage type to energy. So definitely, definitely, if you use your going commando, I would get this hero above any others coming out in the next few weeks. Now also coming up then is Chromium Ramirez. She comes with a standard perk of In a Pinch. Reloads with an empty magazine regenerate 13.5% of your shield over 3 seconds. And as a commander perk in a pinch plus, reloads with an empty magazine are 50% faster and regenerate 13.5% of your shield over 3 seconds. So kind of the opposite really to your diecast jonesy. If you are one of these that like to use your weapons a lot, instead of your abilities then chromium ramirez will be a definite must for your loadout because she's going to enable you to reload your weapons so much faster and deal so much more damage so i would definitely recommend that if if you like to do a lot of shooting in this game 
Now, next up, we have the Fortnite Crew Pack, a new feature that came out with Fortnite Battle Royale a little while ago. They added in a monthly crew pack. And it's essentially a subscription based system where each month you will get unique items for battle royale and things that you can use in that game but it's also going to be coming up now where you will get a copy of fortnite save the world with it so if you don't already have save the world then the crew pack could be a good option for you now it comes with obviously skins and things you can use in battle royale but it also comes with a reskinned hero for save the world now deimos is a reskin of Cloaked Shadow. Now, Cloaked Shadow has Shadow Stance deal 6 base damage per second to nearby enemies, or as a commander, deal 20 base damage per second to nearby enemies. So it is a really good hero to be using. And yeah, if you like this skin for the Deimos, then I would recommend you get this pack. Now, another pack that we do currently still have is your Robo Ray. Now, it's going to be entirely up to you which one of these you want to get, whether you get the crew pack or whether you pay the real money for the Robo Ray pack. They are both going to come up with ninja characters, but um, Robo Ray is a reskin of Intergalactic Ken and he comes with eliminations with energy damage restore 8.5 percent of missing shields and as a commander perk restore 17 percent of missing shields additionally throwing stars deal energy damage so they're both really good characters and reskins of the originals robo ray looks absolutely fantastic as well so it's, it's entirely up to you which ones you purchase, but if you haven't got Save the World, or even if you have, you can get one or other of these characters, and they will both be awesome in the game. So that is pretty much it for the home base status report. It's They're not massive reports anymore, which is fine. We have got a little bit of information there, possibly for some new content in the future. We don't know yet what's going to be coming up once our Scurvy Shoals Adventure Zone goes. But make sure you get everything done as much as possible before the end of the season. And get all of those characters you can, all of those heroes and everything else from the store. So I hope you do find this video useful. If you do, don't forget to hit that like, smash subscribe, turn on that notification bell and you'll always get updated of all my videos when they come out. And don't forget I do live stream on Mondays, Tuesdays and Fridays, 7pm UK time. Sometimes I will random stream as well when I get the time. But I hope to see you either on another video or on the live stream. And until then, have a fantastic day, happy saving the world and stay safe my friends.